Oh. And I don't have my glasses. <laughs> uh, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I'm not in my normal environment. Uh, so this week's episode is going to be a little down and dirty. It's raining right now. I have no room inside to actually shoot anything. Um, so I'm really cheating my way through this episode. But So this week I'm at the Jersey Shore and it's raining. Uh, last week I was in Canada though and had a great chance to pick up some ice wine. So, um, you know, Canada uh, is not only the world's largest producer of ice wine in the world, but it produces more than everybody else. Uh, nobody comes close. Um, and that's likely because you really need specific um, uh, circumstances to harvest ice wine and to uh, create it. Um, it needs to be frozen on the vine before it's picked but you literally like hundreds of people have to be ready to pick it at the same time like they have to be ready and raring to go out and, and get it off the vine and then they have to process it right then. Um, the harvesting you know often has to be completed in a single night um, so it's really a fascinating process um, I don't want to get too much rain on me but you know I'm trying to do this like I said down and dirty uh, real quick um, I have two wines that we purchased uh, from the area uh, they're from the same label Peller Estates um, one's a Cabernet Franc uh, made from uh, made from Cabernet Franc this is a red wine uh, grape varietal and then this is, uh, this other one, this is not a good table to use, uh, this other one's a Vidal um, ice wine. So it's a white, and you can see the slight color difference even in the bottle. So I, I'll admit I cheated. I tried the first one already, but I'm going to try it right here as well. Um, these are a lot of fun, and I can't get the cork off because my hands are so wet. Um, they're a lot of fun, um, but you don't drink a lot of it. Uh, this is not your typical wine. You're not going to pour out a huge amount and have a huge glass of it. You can tell the bottle size is much smaller. Um, this is 200 milliliters, so it's not even, you know, a normal bottle 750. This is like a, not even a third of that. And the price is quite high. So right off the nose, like color, it, it's an off color, not something you typically see, a garnet kind of color raisins like um, overripe fruit and very sweet these are all going to be very sweet super sweet dessert wine um, it's almost like a really strong grape juice like that that's been soaking raisins in the bottom of it it's it's kind of cool um, so yeah very interesting um, definitely something I'm gonna cheat here. I, this is, I'm telling you, this is down and dirty. Um, so, you know, it's a really cool alternative, not your typical wine, but again, like more of a wine full level one because it's sweet. It's super sweet. It's actually, some people might not like it because it's so sweet. Let's get on to wine number two. So, this is the white. We're gonna try this real quick. Woo, that's probably too much. And see if we get the same type of flavors off of it as we did the first one. A little bit more mellow tone. Not quite as powerful as that red, but still getting that. I know it's gonna be sugary Very similar, a little more apple-y. But yeah, really interesting. Um, you know, if you get a chance to try ice wine, highly, highly recommend it. it uh, it's an interesting departure from sort of your standard whites and reds. Definitely a dessert wine. Don't pour yourself much more than this. You probably won't want to try it. It's a great thing great party favor um, you know great thing to have at a party you're you know you want a, something extra to share with friends and family um, a nice little watch the tram car please uh, Wildwood you know 
um, sweet enough, uh, you know, for wine fool level one, but interesting enough and different enough for those wine fool level two people who are really trying to expand uh, what their, you know, the varieties that they've tried and a really fascinating wine, uh, something that you really don't see every day. Um, so, hey, uh, like I said, kind of quick down and dirty. The audio is probably awful because the wind is blowing. Uh, I'm hoping no rain got on the lens um, and I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, until next time, stay foolish and cheers to drinking better wine.